We know there is so much work to do after a storm like that. Greg Payne joins us live now with more on the cleanup efforts. Greg, how are things looking where you are today? Yeah, Carolyn, it has just been a very busy day, but the neighborhood that I'm standing in, this is a Kansas City neighborhood that was left in the dark overnight. And one of the great things that you see right here is the street lights on and some of the people in this neighborhood now have power. But as we were mentioning before, I mean, this has been just kind of a repair and a cleanup day. And that's the reason why you've seen a lot of power trucks and you've also seen a lot of tree service folks out and about doing what they do. It's a sound heard all across the KC Metro and beyond. Crews cleaning up the pieces that remain from last night's powerful storm. After weather emergency events, it's the trees that have fallen on houses or are blocking driveways. So that's been the lion's share of what we've been doing. Daniel Timms, the president of Shamrock Tree Service Incorporated in Lawrence, says even though the storm resulted in a lot of damage, it could have been even worse a couple of months ago when the leaves were still on the trees. If you think of a tree like a big sail, right? You know, the wind is pushing against it and moving it. And when you have all that surface area full of leaves, that's a tremendous amount of resistance that adds, that's added to it. Whereas with something like this, the wind will tend to go through it. Tim says for the most part, the trees they had to pick up were ones that were already on the verge of falling, and those heavy winds just took them out completely. <laughs> Meanwhile, for Evergy crews, it's been more of a challenge as they've been working around the clock to service the metro. This is significant. This was one of the most challenging storms that we've had to deal with in our history. Uh, as a combined company, uh, I can say that. A challenging recovery that's going to need backup. As Evergy officials say, some crews from neighboring states will be coming to the area to help get the power back on for the rest of the metro. We have a pretty good system. We know who's out, and we are just going after the biggest outages first so we can get the largest group of people on. But please be patient. We know it's uncomfortable, uh, but we'll be there soon. And every G officials say that they have been working extremely hard to restore the power. And they also mentioned that in order to restore power to the entire KC Metro, it's probably going to take a few more days. Reporting live here in Kansas City, I'm Greg Payne for KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Greg.